While exploring Australia's east coast, there are a lot of places and activities that you really should see and do. Even if you're a beginner, you should island hop on sailboats, scuba dive through shipwrecks, four-wheel drive through the rainforest, and catch a few waves. The east coast of Australia is vast and beautiful, but we'll highlight some of its absolute best in this video. Here are our picks for the top 10 places to visit on Australia's east coast. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more great travel videos like this. Also make sure to check out Gaffle to find a travel buddy in Australia. Sydney Sydney has so much to offer that you could spend several weeks here and still not see everything. Sydney Central Business District serves as the city's commercial hub and is home to notable attractions like Sydney Harbour Bridge and the Sydney Opera House. The coastal area of Sydney has a plethora of outdoor places for you to explore, including Kuringe Chase National Park and Bondi Beach, among many others. No matter when you visit or how much time you have, there's always something to do in Sydney. Not to mention that it's also an excellent starting off point for an East Coast road trip. Newcastle Newcastle is a scenic town just two hours north of Sydney. While you're here, we definitely suggest visiting the harbour which is the oldest export port in Australia and the largest coal exporting port in the world. You can also enjoy your time in Newcastle visiting the iconic Nobby's Lighthouse which was built in 1857 and is still a beacon guiding ships to Newcastle port. You can also indulge in a little bit of local culture and history by checking out the Newcastle Art Gallery and the Newcastle Museum. And if you have some time left over, drive over to Hunter Valley, Australia's oldest wine region. Here you can visit wineries and indulge in some free wine tasting. Coffs Harbour If you visit Coffs Harbour on a Sunday, you can experience the awesome Jetty Market. Also, whale watching season is from June to November and the marina is where the boats depart. The rugged Mutton Bird Island is a great place to take in the breathtaking views of the coast and mountains. If you have the opportunity, try to catch the sunset from the top of the island. One of Australia's best regional markets can be found in Bellingen, a 30 minute drive south of Coffs Harbour along the Waterfall Way. The Bellingen markets are only held on the third Saturday of each month, so if you happen to be in town on that day, this is a must do activity. Even when the markets are not taking place, the town is still a pleasant place to visit. Going a little bit even further out from Coffs Harbour is Dorigo National Park. This park is teeming with bird life in the spring, and in the summer, you can cool off by walking along one of the waterfall trails. Byron Bay. Byron Bay is a coastal town and a popular holiday destination known for its beaches, surfing, and scuba diving sites. One of the best things to do in Byron Bay is just to chill out and relax. Literally, the motto here is to cheer up, slow down, chill out. The beaches here are renowned and you'll be surrounded by great places to eat, shop, and enjoy music. You'll also be able to meet a lot of travelers. Which reminds me to give you this pro tip. If you're someone who's looking for a travel buddy, you can actually connect with travelers from over 170 countries using Gaffle. Links to our website and apps down below. While you're in Byron Bay, make sure to visit the Byron Bay Lighthouse, which can be accessed via the walking trail from Main Beach. Also, we strongly recommend taking surfing lessons for anyone who doesn't know how to surf, because no trip to Byron Bay is complete without attempting to get on a surfboard at least once. You can also go kayaking, scuba diving, and swimming with the dolphins as well. Brisbane Queensland's capital is a big beautiful city with great culture and beautiful scenery. Brisbane is known for being sunny almost all year long, so it's great for being outdoors. You'll want to spend a lot of time in the South Bank, Brisbane's premier lifestyle and cultural destination. This area is filled with beautiful parks, delicious eateries, amazing river views, and endless events. Take a swim at the urban man-made Streets Beach, which is located in the South Bank. There are also some really cool islands off the coast of Brisbane that you can visit. Morton Island is the third largest sand island in the world, and you can go shipwreck diving here. And North Stradlebrook Island is a great place to go for surfers and people who are looking to go whale watching. You can't leave Brisbane without visiting the Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary, the world's first and only koala sanctuary. Here you can interact with many native Australian animals, including koalas, kangaroos, snakes, birds, and dingoes. 
Sunshine Coast. Like the rest of the East Coast, you'll find long golden beaches and plenty of opportunities for sun and surf along the Sunshine Coast. While you're passing through the Sunshine Coast, you'll probably spend majority of your time in Noosa. There's plenty to do here, whether you want to be adventurous and explore Noosa National Park, or you want to just relax and go cafe and boutique hopping. While in Noosa, take a kayak tour of the Noosa Everglades. And if you want to do more on the Sunshine Coast, you can visit the famous Australia Zoo. Fraser Island. Fraser Island is the largest sand island in the world and it's perfect for its mix of beaches, rainforests, beautiful lakes, and shipwrecks. Before getting to Fraser Island, you'll have to drive two hours from Noosa to Harvey Bay, which is the jumping off point to the island. If you're driving a good, durable four wheel drive vehicle and you're confident that your car won't break down, you can tour the island on your own. But for the rest of you, you'll probably want to hire a tour guide. Airlie Beach and the Whitsunday Islands. Airlie Beach is a gateway to the Whitsundays, but it's a great little town all on its own. Popular among backpackers, while in Arley Beach, you can take a dip in the Arley Beach Lagoon, visit Conway National Park for a hike, experience the nightlife of the town, and if you're there on a Sunday, you can browse through the markets. Sailing the Whitsunday Islands is a must-do activity. No East Coast adventure is complete unless you sail these islands. You'll be able to see Whitehaven Beach, which will immediately become one of the most stunning places you've ever seen. During the day, you can go island hopping, snorkeling, or even skydiving and then party under the stars at night. Townsville and Magnetic Island. Townsville is the gateway to Magnetic Island and it's the capital of Northern Queensland. While in Townsville, you can visit the many bars and restaurants in the city. You can also visit the Museum of Northern Queensland to learn about the local wildlife, ancient shipwrecks, and the history of scuba diving, or the Herbert River Museum to learn about the region's history. Magnetic Island is very quiet with secluded beaches and an abundance of wildlife. There's a lot you can take in on the island just by walking. You can do the 90 minute fort walk which includes some great World War II history. You can also explore Balding Bay or Radical Bay. Both are quieter than the main beach. There are also several tours you can do on the island, including snorkeling tours, kayak tours, and jet ski tours. Cairns. There's so much to do in Cairns that you'll have to spend a few days here exploring. The Great Barrier Reef is located in Cairns. Snorkeling or diving the reef to interact with the abundance of aquatic life is a must-do while in Australia. Cairns Lagoon and Esplanade is a fantastic place to swim, barbecue, and spend the day. The Daintree Rainforest is a World Heritage Site and the world's oldest surviving tropical rainforest. Daintree can be done in a day trip from Cairns and offers some spectacular beaches waterfalls, and wildlife. Make sure you visit Cape Tribulation while you're here, and don't miss out on Port Douglas either. And that concludes our list of the 10 best places to visit along Australia's east coast. Be sure to visit Gaffle to find a travel buddy for your next trip.